Hello, I'm Dr. Ernest Poe. Just a few days back, a friend asked me, have you been vaccinated? Now this question, have you been vaccinated, is probably going to be the most important question for 2021. The freedom to travel, to go out on dates, and just to be yourself. All these will depend on your vaccination status. Now with so many concerns regarding the COVID-19 vaccine recently, let's dive a little bit deeper today to address some of the concerns and reservations we have about the COVID-19 vaccine. Now the first concern that most people would have is that vaccines just aren't worth the risk. Having treated COVID-19 patients myself, I can assure you that getting the virus itself is a much bigger deal than what we make of it. Sure, most of us may not get any symptoms at all if we contract the virus, but if we accidentally transmit the virus on to an older person who has health issues, the outcome could be disastrous. Now, the loved one may develop a very severe pneumonia of the lungs, resulting in severe scarring. And if they do eventually recover, a study from Lancet from patients hospitalized in Wuhan recently showed that 76% of patients still had symptoms six months down the road. Some of these symptoms include lethargy or tiredness, muscle weakness, memory impairment, and even sleep disturbances. So the vaccines not only protect you, they protect your loved ones. If you weigh the benefit of the vaccines, versus the risk of getting COVID-19 infection, I'm sure you can come to a wise decision on whether to get vaccinated or not. Now, the second concern about the vaccine is of course its side effect. I will deal with the side effects in more detail in another video. But just to mention briefly here, we now have data from millions across the world that have been vaccinated with the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine and the Modena vaccines. We also have safety data from the Chinese vaccine and the Russian vaccines. Of course, you may say that the side effects for each individual vaccine may be different because there are different vaccines altogether. But across phase three clinical trials tested on thousands of people, the side effects reported were mostly similar. They were mild, such as an injection site pain, and swelling, or even a headache, a fever, or even muscle and joint aches. From my own personal experience, I experienced a little pain at the injection site and nothing more. So it's safe to say that all these vaccines are pretty safe and they do not cause much problems. Now I know what's your next concern. You may be asking me, what about the deaths that I've read about with regards to the vaccine? Now, drug control authorities do take these deaths very seriously. So far, because of so much scrutiny and hype over the vaccine, all these deaths get sensationalized very quickly. Now, it is very hard to prove direct linkage between the vaccine and the death itself. Most of the deaths that were reported happens in the elderly population, and many of them have a lot of health conditions. They occur sometimes days and even weeks apart after the vaccine. So it is very hard to prove a direct linkage as you can see. And to this very date, none of the deaths have been attributable to the vaccine. Now the next concern that you may have is that the vaccines are unsafe because they were produced too quickly. I think it is important to emphasize that the technologies behind these vaccines are not entirely new. What scientists needed to do was they needed to find the identifying factors from the virus and incorporate them into the existing technologies to produce the vaccines. Many pharmaceutical companies collaborated and invested billions of resources into the vaccine. Because of this, clinical trials, logistic planning, and even safety measures can be combined instead of doing it step by step without compromising on safety. So this is why the vaccines could be produced in such a quick amount of time. Another concern from some of the patients that have recovered from COVID-19 is whether or not they need to take the vaccine. 
Well, I'm sure if you have had a very serious disease caused by COVID-19, nothing, absolutely nothing will stand in your way of getting a vaccine because you know how difficult that was. For patients who had no symptoms at all, there is currently not enough information to know how long your natural immunity lasts. Some studies claim it is up to six months. So the vaccine helps you to prevent reinfection. Lastly, there are some concerns regarding the effectiveness of the vaccines and whether you are actually immunized to COVID-19 after the vaccine. Now, The question on effectiveness actually depends on the type of vaccines you receive. Reassuringly, the government has approved vaccines that have demonstrated about 60% to 95% efficacy in clinical trials. This is obviously not a competition. It doesn't mean that if you've gotten a vaccine that is more effective against the virus, you would be much better off than someone who receives a vaccine that only offers a 60% protection. What we're trying to achieve here is herd immunity, which I will cover in my next video. We want to protect the entire community by getting as many people vaccinated as fast as possible. I hope this video has been helpful to address some of your concerns and allay some of your fears regarding COVID-19 vaccine. If you have found this video helpful and interesting, do share it out with your friends. And if you have got any comments, do drop them in the comment section below. To learn why we need to be vaccinated as soon as possible, stay tuned for my next video. Till then, 